everybody, it's Mary Grace Wallace with Family Tree Nuts. So I'm standing in North Cove Pioneer Cemetery. This is actually the new North Cove Pioneer Cemetery, and there's a reason. And you heard me say Washaway Beach, and that should give you a clue. Washaway Beach was a community across Highway 105, and Highway 105 is just right in front of me here. There's Highway 105, and then a few feet from Highway 105 is the Pacific Ocean. Washaway Beach has claimed about 100 feet of land a year since the late 1800s. There was a community that included a school, a clam cannery, a lighthouse, a grange, and several houses, and quite a few people. This beach has pretty much claimed everything. There's nothing left here, but it's actually quite beautiful. In 1977, this particular cemetery was moved. And now there's a new cemetery and I'm standing in it. But I want to tell you how that happened. In 1977, most of the headstones and a lot of the coffins were exposed and some of the headstones were not recovered. There are nine unknown markers behind me in the back. One of those markers reads M39, and there are other such markers that just say unknown. I want to tell you a story about two of the unknown graves that are back there. Mr. Hook and his life-saving crew found one man from a schooner accident, the Nora Harkins, and another man from the schooner, Mary Hawkins. And um, both those men were dead and apparently they didn't know who they were and their graves are back here and both marked as unknown as well. The other seven, from what I can find, were headstones that were washed away and they just don't know who they are. But I want to tell you about a few of the other characters that are in here. Some of the older graves that I found just walking through here and then looking them up. One such man is Hans Hansen. He was born 6th of September 1881. He died in 1901. He's in here and he drowned. Once I started looking at that, I see that several of the people in here were victims of drowning, which is sort of interesting. Another character that was in here is Elizabeth Olson, and she had quite an old grave marker. There's a few Olsons in here, and she died in 1894. Another one that I found in here was Rasmus Peterson and he appeared to be somebody that lived in the lighthouse. Maybe he was the lighthouse keeper. He died in 1913. He died of his own hand in actually the lighthouse. Anyway, it's a beautiful place across from the ocean. It's actually in danger of eroding again. I'm standing next to what I found was a really interesting headstone. It's made of wood and I'm gonna read it to you. In memory of my good friend and buddy, Helper, Don Keel, who died on this spot, 524.04 was 2.45 p.m. while mowing by Dick and Paw. I'm not really sure what it means. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this to you. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope to bring you more. Remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at FamilyTreeNuts.org.